Good morning, first grade. Um, so today, we're still going to be doing some math. We're going to be doing some reading. We're going to be doing some writing, um, except obviously I'm at home and you're at home maybe too. Um, I just want to start off by saying that I miss you. I wish you were at school. I wish I was at school. And I really want you to take a moment to say thank you to maybe mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever is at home helping you. They're trying really, really hard to make sure you're still learning during this time. So maybe go ahead and give them um, a hug or just say thank you sometime today. So today we're going to go ahead and start with math. So before we get started, I wanted to let you know about the materials you're going to need if you need to go get them. So you're going to need your crayons. So maybe go grab the ones that Miss Priest had you take home. You're going to need your notebook. So maybe grab the one that Miss Priest had you take home and a pencil. So if you need to pause the video to go grab those things, go do that now, please. All right, we're going to start with our application problem. So remember, our application problem is sometimes our word problem. We're drawing pictures. So I want you to just listen to Miss Paris say the word problem. So Sammy had a linking cube train of seven cubes. She added four more cubes to her train. How many did she have all together? So right now, I want you to be thinking, what are the steps you're going to do? So I'm going to say it one more time. So Sammy had a link cube train of seven cubes. She added four more. How many did she have all together? So I want you to pause the video, and I want you to draw a picture in your notebook. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. All right, so Miss Paris went ahead and drew a picture too. So first, if she started with seven, we're going to draw seven first. So let's make sure we have all seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So thumbs up if you had seven. Now, if she added four more, we need to add four more to our train. So for me, I'm not going to draw them the same color. I'm going to maybe shade them in. So one, two, three, four, so I can make sure that I got four. So now I see one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now I want you to pause the video, and I want you to try to make an addition number sentence that matches your picture. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and write that down in your notebook, and we'll see if ours match, okay? All right, so if you made a number sentence, think about a number bond, okay? So in order to find my whole or my total, I need to count everything all together. So let's count all of our cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if I'm doing a number bond, I know eleven is my whole and eleven is going to be my sum. Now the question is, what two numbers did I add together? So if I'm looking at my picture, I see boxes that I didn't shade in and boxes that I did shade in. So how many are boxes I didn't? Well, we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one, two, three, four. Now we need to check our work is seven plus four, 11. So if I put my big number in my head, seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There's my answer. So thumbs up if you got 11. Great job. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on. So maybe grab another piece of paper if you need to. If you need to get up and take a 10-second stretch, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and pause your video. All right, so now we're going to move on in our objectives. So remember, our objective is what we want to learn by the end of our lesson. So remember, our objective for today, is sorry, I'm looking at it, is we're going to use counting on and make the 10 strategy to add. So you guys have been super, super amazing with place value. So here's what I want you to do. So here's my dry erase board. So you can maybe go ahead and add in your notebook. Here's what I want you to do. At the top of your board, I want you to do this. So I'm gonna do it on mine. I want you to go ahead and write 19 plus three. So go ahead and pause the video and write 19 plus three. 
All right, so to help me, remember, sometimes we put a T over the tens place and a O over the ones place. So three doesn't have any tens, so we just have a ones place. So now if you're looking at my board, okay, I match mine. I want your board to look just like mine. And remember, you can pause the video anytime you need to if you need to kind of catch up and just make your board look like mine. So now I'm going to ask that you draw each number. So I want you to draw 19 using base 10 blocks or 10 rods or groups 10, okay? And I want you to draw three using, okay, um, just groups of one because remember three doesn't have any groups of 10. So I'm gonna pause the video. I want you to pause it too and I'm gonna draw it and I want you to draw it too, okay? So go ahead and do that. All right, so does your board match mine? So for 19, how many groups of 10 do I have? I have one because I'm looking at the tens place and there's the one there. And it really helps me to label it sometimes so I don't forget, okay? So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay? And then remember for three, I don't have any groups of 10, so I just have one, two, three. So now we're going to try to make this as easy as possible for us to add. Okay, and I know that some of us can look at 19 plus 3 and we go, well, I already know the answer. I don't need to do anything else, okay? But we need to keep learning different strategies because sometimes there might be a number that's super big and this strategy might help you, okay? So if you're someone that really just kind of knows it, that's great, but these strategies are just to help everybody, okay? So here's now what I want you to think about, and I'm going to pause the video and see what you can do, okay? So your notebook should look like mine right now. Here's what I want you to think. I have a group of 10 and nine ones on one side for 19 and three ones for three on the other side. I want you to think, if I asked you to make another group of 10, how do you think you would do that? So I want you to go ahead and pause the video, take some think time. What do you think you would do? Go ahead and pause. All right, so Miss Paris took some think time too. So if I have a group of 10 and I'm asking, how do I make another one? Well, I know a group of 10 is 10, okay? 10 once make a group of 10, okay? So over here, I'm seeing I already have nine, okay? I have nine ones and over here I have three. So do you think that we could maybe take one of the ones and bring it over to the nine and maybe make a group of 10? Absolutely. So now here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take one of your ones, do, 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 do. you're gonna bring it over here on this side, okay? Now for me, I'm gonna draw it, okay? So if it's moving, you gotta get rid of it because if you keep it over here, you added another one. But really, I'm just making a group of 10, okay? So now if I look over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Can I get rid of all these ones now and make another group of 10? Absolutely. So I want you to pause your video and you're now gonna add another group of 10. Go ahead and do that. So now your board should look like this. And if you notice over here, do I anymore have three ones? No, how many do I have? I have two. So now I have 10, 20, 21, 22. But Miss Therese, you said 19 plus 3. All I did was make another group of 10 so that counting is easier for me. Is 19 plus 3 22 still? Well, we can figure it out. Which number is bigger? 19, 20, 21, 22. I still had 22. I just did it in a way that was a little easier. So now we're going to try another one. And then you're going to do it on your own on Seesaw. Okay, so go ahead and pause your video and erase. All right, so now I want you to just take a few seconds to set up your notebook, so your next piece of paper, and I apologize for saying erase. You guys don't need to erase your notebooks. So go ahead and take a second to set up your notebook so that it looks like my whiteboard, okay? Go ahead and pause the video. All right, so now in order to do the next part, you need to go ahead and draw these numbers. So go ahead and pause the video again, and I want you to draw using groups of tens and ones, 27 plus five. All, all right, so does your board match mine? So on 27, I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, plus five, one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm thinking, how can I make another group of 10? Okay, so if I have 27 
and five, think of those numbers in the ones place. I wanna make another group of 10. So I need 10 ones. So I have seven in the ones place and five in the ones place. Which one's closer to 10? Which one's closer to 10? Okay, well, that's gonna be seven, okay? Uh-oh, so now the problem is, is I don't know how many more I need to get to 10. So if I have seven, how many more do I need? I need seven, eight, nine, 10. I need three ones from the five. Now remember, you're taking them and putting them over here, okay? So it's really important that when you're moving them, you're erasing them or Xing them off, okay? So for me, every time I move one, okay, I'm gonna do an arrow first, okay? So I know one, and I need three of them, two, three. Because for me, now I know which ones I need to erase because otherwise you might erase ones that you didn't move. So now I'm going to erase these and now I need to check. Do I have okay, 10 now? Did I make another group of 10? So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can erase these and make another group of 10. I have 10 ones now. So go ahead and pause your video and I want you to now draw another group of 10 instead of 10 ones, okay? So don't forget, you have to erase them. You're not doing 10 ones and another group of 10. All right, so now your boards should look like mine. So now, do you see how I got rid of those 10 ones and instead I drew another group of 10? So now I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. So now here's my question. What would my new addition number sentence be? Because you no longer see 27 plus 5. What do you see? Okay, go ahead and try to challenge yourself. What would your new addition number sentence be? So does yours match mine? So I came up with 30 plus 2 because I have three groups of 10, which is really equal to 10, 20, 30, 30, and how many ones do I have? One, two, two. So that would give me 32. Now I need to make sure I did this right. So is 27 plus five still 32? Well, I have 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So I did this correctly because both of my answers and my sums are the same. So thumbs up if you did the correct thing at 32. I know this is hard to kind of teach over a computer, but you'll have some time to practice on Seesaw, okay? So go ahead and pause your video and flip to the next page. All right, so now I'm gonna put one on my whiteboard and see if you can make a group of 10 all by yourself, okay? So what will happen now is I'm just gonna write the addition problem. You're gonna have to draw it, regroup, and then I'm just going to go through the whole thing and see if you matched mine. If you didn't, it's okay. You'll have more time to practice, okay? All right, so go ahead and have your board match mine. Once you have it all written down, you're going to go ahead and pause the video, okay? You need to draw. Try to make another group of 10, okay? So remember, a group of 10 is made up with 10 ones, okay? And then write down what you think your new addition number sentence would be. Okay, so count all your tens, count all your ones. Okay, so I'll check back with you in a second. I'm going to go do it on my board and we'll see if our boards match. Okay, you're going to do a great job. All right, so we're going to just go ahead and start here so I can walk you through what I would do. Okay, so before you can even get started, you got to make sure you drew them correctly because if you're not drawing them correctly, when you go to recount for your sum or your total, it's going to be wrong. Okay. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 40, 49, 49. Okay, I'm good to go. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So now I need to decide how to make another group of 10. Okay, remember 10 ones make a group of 10. So I see that I have a nine in my ones place and a six. Nine is way closer to 10. And if I'm at 9, 9, 10, I need one more 1. So where is that 1 going to come from? It's going to come from the 6. So I'm going to draw over here a line connecting because now I know that I need to get rid of this 1. So now I can go ahead and erase because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to be able now to erase this. 
and have another group of 10. So now my problem is different because now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we know 50 plus 5 is 55. So we need to now see if they match, okay? So 49 plus 6, is it still 55? So 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So both of my sums are the same, okay? So did you get 55? Were you able to make another group of 10? I'm sure you were because you're super, super smart. Okay, so now what's going to happen is I'm going to have you go ahead and put away your materials maybe to the side because I'm going to explain to you what it's going to look like on Seesaw for math today, okay? All right, so thank you so much for going ahead and doing that math lesson with me. I know it's really hard to do through a computer, but we still have to try our best to continue to learn, okay? So now what's going to happen is Ms. Parikh is going to post two assignments for math on Seesaw, okay? I know you have a lot of things to be doing with e-learning. I've seen that everyone's been going on Freckle and doing some reading, and I'm super proud of you. You're going to see me post some fluency practice, okay? And then you'll also see me post part of your problem set that you would be getting in class okay so there will be voice instructions please listen to them as many times as you need to okay um, if you want to add a voice recording I would love to hear your voice um, if you have any questions you can always let me know your parents can let me know okay and then I'll be posting another video for reading and writing okay so please know that I miss you and I will hopefully see you soon okay bye guys